What's up, Dolphins? Travis Wingfield here, the host of the Drive Time Podcast on the Miami Dolphins Podcast Network, and I'm joined today by new Dolphins defensive back, Keon Crossan. Keon, what's up, man? How you doing? Man, I'm doing good, man. Uh, just finished up with an 18-hour trip, <laughs> so say. just to get down here with you guys, man. Uh, so I'm, I'm excited to be here, man, and uh, I couldn't be, 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 be more grateful. Tell me about that 18-hour drive. I, I got to know more about it. You know what? Um, it was grueling, <laughs> yes. uh, but it was you know a, a definitely a, a self connected drive um I got to just reflect on you know life little things um and family and just the opportunity just to you know at the time to be a free agent and right. um obviously I was coming to Miami anyway I was kind of you know optimistic that something would happen here so um like I said I you know I enjoy the state and I'm glad to be here and uh the drive was worth it. That's right. Did you get some podcast in? Maybe some drive time? You know what? I definitely did. <laughs> definitely did. I'm just messing with you. So I made the drive from Seattle down here last wow. summer. That's a, a pretty long one as well. But um, yeah, it's 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 like you said, grueling. It's a good word right. for it. That's why my face lit up when you mentioned that. So you're here now. This building's not too bad, right? What do you think of the oh, building? Oh man, the, the electric. It's electric, man. It's exciting. Um, this building's crazy. Um, but the one thing I did realize is that um, this building is family based. Mm -hmm family based um and everyone's having a good time uh so at the end of the day that's what that's what that's what we're here to do that's what we're here to do. have a great time win obviously and uh be electric man why not <laughs> i love it why love not? It. so so you mentioned coming down here with the dolphins what was it that really attracted you to sign here with the miami dolphins um you know i just you know I, some genuine people first off um i had some genuine people uh you know like coach boyer uh he was definitely an influence he's obviously a guy that drafted me in new england so um, that's definitely one, you know, at the end of the day, I think what's meant to be is going to be. And, um, obviously the palm trees, <laughs> yes. the heat, you know, taxes, a light <laughs> way better than New York taxes. I love it. Although I still, you know, that, that's still a, a, you know, a, a love there, but I'm just glad to be here, man. And, uh, at the end of the day it's different. And, um, you know, I, I would, be grateful to get this experience and no other place in here. What can you say about what can you tell us more about Coach Boyer? Because I, I had in my notes here that 2018 he was he was in the cornerbacks room when you got mm -hmm. drafted there to, to New England, won the Super Bowl that year and everything. What what can you tell us about your relationship with Coach Boyer? Um, so like I said, he drafted me as a rookie. He actually uh, uh he flew down to pretty much Colorway, North Carolina. No one's probably ever heard of that, <laughs> but that's where Western Carolina is located, yep. which is the college I attended. And um he was telling me that he's seen guys throw knives at trees and stuff like that, <laughs> which is very possible, which is very possible. And, uh, but not so, you, though, right? No, not me. <laughs> Definitely not me. Um, if anything, I'll be, I'll be throwing you some love. Um, <laughs> love but at the end of the day, man, uh, that just shows the dedication first and foremost from him as a coach. And um, he's seen a talent in me, um, you know, just as my college coach did that he thought he could bring out. And like I say, every coach can't bring it out. You know what I mean? Um, but he know how to coach me. Uh, like I say, he drafted me and, um, you know, I, you know, in some sense, I wish I could have been with him all four years because, uh, uh, you know, I'm a better player because of it. And uh, he's passionate. Um, and like I said, I remember times where um, I was talking to him about it. It was the um, preseason game number two versus the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. And I didn't even know what a curl flat drop was. <laughs> and this man took time out of his day. Um, obviously, there's other players there. But, I mean, we probably only feel an hour or two hours just working on curl flat drops. And he was running routes. I mean, hell, he's – how old he is, he's running routes. <laughs> he's I was, not going to want to hear that. <laughs> I was worried about Achilles injury. <laughs> yeah. But uh, that's my guy, man. And, um, you know, that was him pre uh, – Pre dad, yeah, sure. So uh, you know, I get to see dad Boyer and pre. I, I know a pre dad Boyer, so it's always good, man. He's like I said, he's he's for my best interest, and uh, that's that's a big influence of why I came down here. Um, it's good to to get up with former teammates, man, and you know, try to build something, and you know, ultimately try to get to a Super Bowl. That's you know, that's the thing. But it's a process to get there, and uh, camaraderie ship within the team is definitely one uh, aspect of it, and. I'm ready to get, you know, get back with them and as well as, you know, my new teammates. So, I, you know, I can't wait. You talk about camaraderie. You've talked mm -hmm. about the electricity here a little bit. You know, kind of doing some background on you. I saw some videos of you at practice at, at WCU, <laughs> wherever you were in the NFL. You're always dancing around, having a good time. Yeah. How important is it to have that energy every day? Uh, I mean, I, you know, I think it's, a, you know, it's very important. It's, you know, what I would call it is a focus energy. Um, it's a focus energy. And what it is is, you know, it's allowing me for, for myself. It's allowing me to pretty much get in my zone for the day. Um, 
Uh, although it is playful, but in a way I'm I'm dancing, having a good time. I got my teammates laughing. You know, even if it's embarrassing for me, you know, <laughs> I got my teammates <laughs> laughing. The coaches might laugh, and um, you know, at the end of the day, I know okay, we're about to go and have a good day's of work. And uh, why not start off with a little fun? Yeah, that makes it a lot more, especially those grueling days of training exactly. camp, right? You got exactly. to, pers- to persevere through there. Exactly. So I read about some more of your background here at WCU, and mm-hmm. instead of your pro day, you ran a 4.33, mm-hmm. and they clocked you at 24 miles an hour top speed. Did you know that? Yeah, that, that you know, I always thought that was kind of a coincidence because a 24 miles per hour, 4.33 doesn't make sense. <laughs> right. It definitely was a 4.2. <laughs> uh, I love it. That makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, like I say, my numbers in the league right now tell me and tells everybody that I'm the fastest man in the league. There you go. Um, so that's all that matters. And uh, I, I just think it's interesting, man, that, uh, you know, the only pr- I didn't have a, ex- you know, a trainer like Exos or, you know, a XPE that's down here training all these guys that run 4-2. I did it out the backyard. Uh, it was <laughs> me and my shrimp coach, and we just figured it out. And uh, at the end of the day, man, you know, I'm appreciative of Coach Barr and, like I say, Coach Mark Spear and, the whole WC athletics just for giving me opportunity, you know, because that experience is different in itself because I didn't have any college offers coming out of high school. Yeah. So I'm appreciative of that. I just want to give them a, a shout out. You kind of mentioned this already, talking about being one of the faster players in the league. The fastest, mm-hmm. I think you said, right? Yeah, so, the fastest. So my next question was going to be, because we have this every year talking about like who right. winning a race at Dolphins training camp. We don't actually run the race. We just right. talk about it and it's kind of fun. But you think you do pretty well in that race? Uh, I don't. I don't think the guys would disagree. <laughs> I love. That. I don't think the I guys would disagree. I love it. So, how does that speed help you collect so many tackles on special teams? Because I, I went back and looked at your stats. You're one of the leading special teams tacklers over the last four years since you came in the league. Mm-hmm. How does speed play a part in that? Um, well, it's very hard to contain speed. Mm-hmm. Um, like I said, I you know, I'm one of the leading tacklers, but at the same time, I have to learn how to contain the speed within myself. Um, because I can be, um, when I was a rookie, I used to be fast and out of control. And um, as I've grown, uh, I think it was, a, uh, I think it was around like week eight. I went on like an eight week, all went to the playoffs, you know, the AFC Championship, Super Bowls, where I made tackles every week. Yeah. And that's when I figured it out. I was like, oh, I just gotta maybe not go 24, <laughs> maybe go 22. You know yes, what I mean? Yes. So um, that's how it helps. But you know. I have a lot of, you know, coaches tell me, oh, you got to do this. I'm like, listen, I'm doing it very fast. (laughs) That's right. Uh, So I'm seeing it very fast. So, uh, but long story short, man, um, the speed helps just just to help, you know, me be at my best and do what I do best. And that's run fast and make tackles. Um, I think I'm a solidified tackler, uh, whether that's defensively, special team wise. I don't miss too many tackles. Um, So, all due respect, I mean, speed helps. Like I say, speed changed the game. Um, and that's how it helped me. Maybe that's why they put you at four three three, so you learned to play at four three three and be a little more controlled. Yeah, I think that's I what know. I think that's what it was. <laughs> perfect, perfect. So <laughs> you know, uh, one thing I also saw in your background there was you had a nickname back at Western Carolina, the Preacher. Yes. Does that still follow you? Oh around? yeah, no question, man. Um, they called me the Preacher, man. Uh, some people call me the pa- you know Pastor Key, man. Uh, Love it. But at the end of the day, man. Um, like I said, I'm I'm just a guy after God's heart, bro, and uh, I just like to help people. Uh, whether that's preaching a word, uh, whether that's just giving love, you know what I mean, just spreading love, man. I'm I'm a I'm a guy that loves people, um, and I think the kind of man you are matters, and the type of character you have matters. And uh, like I said, I was my dad and my mom, you know, always taught me respect. You know what I mean, respect and hold yourself accountable, and just always be who you are everywhere. And that's all I know how to do. And uh, like I say, that's what I, that's who I am. That's who I am. And that's what I want to continue to be. It's awesome to hear. One of the videos I saw was a, a yeah. YouTube clip and the, one of the guys, your teammates was saying that you would give the shirt off your back to anybody. So I thought that was really cool. Oh, I appreciate it. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that. But let's go ahead and finish up here with, you know, you get here to South Florida and Miami, you make the long drive. Hopefully you're not driving anywhere else anytime no, soon. No, hopefully not. Uh, but, you know, whether it's football, culture mm-hmm. down here, it's very rich in, in that sense, as well as all the food down here. If there's one thing you're looking forward to with this opportunity, what is it here in South Florida? Um, just an opportunity to get to know the culture of South Florida. Um, I never really got to stay here. So food wise, I really don't know what you guys eat, you know? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, they must eat, they must eat dolphin out here. I don't know what they eat out here. Uh, beans, I don't know. Uh, but I'm just really, in, you know, intrigued to see the culture out here, man. And I know it's pretty diverse. Um, 
But, you know, food, I'm a big food guy. I'm a food junkie. So, you know, if there's any restaurants that wants me to come out to try your food out, <laughs> hey, I'll take the biggest meal you got and we'll see can I eat it, all right? He's calling you out, calling for you right now. Calling for you right now. <laughs> Anybody, any restaurant, let me know. You know, I just finished my, uh, by the way, quick note, you know, I just finished my uh, master's in theology. Tell me about more, about, more about that. I got to yeah. hear about it. Um, so it's been a three-year process. Um, I started, well, I'm going to say, right after my rookie year. And I was thinking, I'm like, what can I do as far as education um, to grow? And I was like, you know what? Why not go back to school, right? And I, I learned about the the NFL PA, how we got the tuition grant program. We need to bring that back, guys. <laughs> um, but we got a tuition grant um, program, and I encourage guys to you know do it because, like I say, if you haven't finished school, um, go back and finish, man. It's important. It's important to you. It's important to your family. Go do it. But you know, I, I'm kind of first generation in a sense when it comes to like the masters of my intermediate family, my mom, dad. Um, I've, I've, I've just completed my master's degree. I'm thinking about a doctorate, but um, we will see. That's to feel good we to say see. out loud, right? Like I yeah. just finished my master's. That probably feels really good. Oh, to it say. feels good. Yeah. It feels amazing. And three years too. That's pretty, it's pretty, pretty yeah. especially being an NFL player. Oh yeah. Man, you got a lot yeah. of yeah. points. And I actually encouraged my, my sister got encouraged and she finished her, uh, she's finishing her um, bachelor's right now, man. So, Mom's thinking about going. I mean, we all think about going to school. So, example, man, Good for man you. that's what we do, man. That's Good what stuff. we do. Good stuff. Keon Cross, a new Dolphins defensive back. Thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it.